Hello everyone. I hope you are doing great and this is Insight of Math. Welcome to Insight of Math. So, let's talk about one special group. I will talk about the definition of this group later on. Now, I'm going to create a rectangle and mark those corners as 1 2 3 and 4. Now, let's rotate it at 180 degree. Let's call that rotation as big R. and uh, now i'm going to create a set called g and uh, g have two elements that is e and r and uh, here e means identity element which means we didn't do any changes in the rectangle and uh, as you know big r is 180 degree rotation so now i'm going to keep rotate the rectangle in 180 degree uh, what do you think about the rectangle is going to be just pause the video and think about it and it turns out r times r is uh, e that means r star r is e uh, so if you rotate 180 degree and then rotate 180 degree we we use the original rectangle that is e so we can call r itself the inverse of r right because r star r gives the original element so i'm going to note down that property now let's flip it along vertically and call it as big v and add that element into g that means now we have three elements in g that is e r and v now keep flipping along vertically so that we can easily see that v star v also gives the original element e also let's flip along horizontally and call it as big h now we get the new element for g that is h so now g have four elements also if you keep flipping along horizontally once again you will get the original element e uh, as you see in the animation okay so now we are going to stop adding elements in g and uh, now try to figure out some other properties along with uh, r star r equal to e and v star v equal to e and h star h equal to e that means uh, r itself is the inverse of r and v itself is the inverse of v and obviously we can conclude that same goes for h2 for finding other properties i'm going to take uh, r that means 180 degree rotation uh, and then flip along vertically that means big v uh, so you can carefully observe this final image is nothing but big h that is flip along horizontally also i want the original rectangle so i just have to flip it along horizontally by using the that property so finally we get the original rectangle now we do height that is flip along horizontally and uh, flip along vertically that is v uh, that means height star v is uh, r now we get r that is thing but the 180 degree rotation Now I'm um, using the first property. Likewise, there is uh, other property which is rotation and uh, horizontal flip, which leads to vertical flip. Also, as you know by second property, if we flip vertically, once again it's a original rectangle. so enough with the pictures and find out why it's so special and how it relate to groups because of the property that we found this g is nothing but one of the examples of famous kelin four group so but wait if you ask me what the heck is kelin four group don't worry i'm on it so let's see about what is kelin four group according to wikipedia kelin four group is a group with four elements blah 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 uh, this is exact definition of kelin four group uh, now i'm going to explain it perfectly uh, first of all we want four elements that's the important condition um, by our example b2 have four elements that is g equal to e r b and h right so now i'm going to focus on next condition that is each element is self inverse we already find those properties so obviously our example satisfies this condition too also the other condition is composing any two of the three non identity elements produces the third one 
uh, that is uh, by our example the non identity elements are r b and h right so composing two of these elements gives the third one that is composing r and b gives h likewise there are other two properties so this condition is satisfied too uh, also last one is g have to be a group obviously closure is true since composing any two elements obviously is g is in g um, also associate is true to um, just try to work this on your own uh, it would be easy and uh, you know if you can't be able to find out just let me know in the comment section also inverse excess because uh, we already you know that uh, inverse of each element is itself right so um, inverse is inverse is exist and uh, is uh, identity element so there is a uh, identity property too and uh, so so was g form a group because of these four properties and uh, obviously g is abelian too try to figure it on your own mm, just let me know in the comment section why it's why it's abelian group okay so with these all explanation g is kellin 4 group i hope you get a clear idea about kellin 4 group um you can now read the definition you will get the um, exact meaning of helling for group and uh, thanks for watching and catch you guys later in the next video until then stay safe and curious bye